Hey guys, welcome to another how-to video. My name is Lisa, this here is Alan. Today we're going to show you how to install the Hyper 612 PWM onto your motherboard. Alan, take it away. All right, thanks Lisa. All right guys, as Lisa mentioned, right here we have our Hyper 612 PWM. Right here, we're gonna install it onto this 1366 motherboard. And as you can see, we have the RAM installed already and the CPU. So the first thing you wanna do is remove the safety sticker from the cooler. The next thing that you're gonna do is locate the mounting brackets that correspond to your motherboard. In this case, we're using the Intel 1366. So what we need to do is acquire these two brackets and mount them onto the cooler. Okay, so these are your 1366 1156 brackets. To secure them onto the cooler, you need to use these small little screws. Now, the brackets go underneath the cooler, not on top, but underneath right here. Now that we have the brackets installed, there's one more step before you can move on. Since we're using a 1366 motherboard, we have to make sure that the screws are in the correct slots. As you can see here, this one is in the 1366 position, while these over here aren't. So what you need to do is just press down and push it outward until it locks in. You repeat that for all the other ones. Okay, now we can continue. Okay, the next step would be to use the rubber pads to place on the holes right here, but they're only used for the AMD motherboards. Since we're doing Intel, we can skip that and go ahead with the thermal paste. So to apply the thermal paste, just put a dot in the center, and then with the business card, you can just apply it evenly. After you put the thermal paste, you can go ahead and mount the CPU cooler. Okay, the CPU cooler is mounted this way so that the 120 millimeter fan pushes the air through the heatsink out the rear of the case. Now we can go ahead and flip the cooler along with the motherboard like that so that we can install the back plate. Since we're using the Intel motherboard, we're not gonna be using this side. So you would, what you would do is use this bottom side with the four green sides and place that towards the motherboard. Place it like that. And then with the nuts, just simply place one first and then you would place the other one diagonally across. And then continue on with the next one. And then you mount the last one. And when you're tightening these, you can use the wrench that comes in the accessory kit. And just how you mounted them onto the back plate right here, you can do it diagonally little by little until you make it nice and tight. Okay. Now we're done mounting the cooler. So if you were to add an additional 120 millimeter fan, the mounting hardware is included in the package to increase the performance. All right, there you have it guys. Thanks for watching another how-to video on how to install a Hyper 612 PWM onto your motherboard. I'm Lisa, this is Alan. We'll see you guys again next time. Bye.